morning. This morning I'm going to walk you through the steps in re-imaging an old desktop that's running on Windows and turning it into a Chromebook using the Neverware Chrome operating system that's already been installed on an 8 gig minimum USB storage device and you need to have access to in our school board some type of a wireless uh, adapter. So this is uh, basically a USB Wi-Fi adapter that can plug into the back of the computer and allow the desktop to to switch from the wired network onto the wireless network. So here we go. First thing you need to do is you have to take your USB that's already been re-imaged. It already has the Chrome operating system from Neverware installed. We're going to plug that in. Okay, so you make sure you plug your USB in. Once it's plugged in, because we have to make sure that we've got it hooked up onto the internet. Uh, when you're installing the Chrome operating system, you have to do it while connected online. Now the Wi-Fi antenna hooks up just like any other USB device, so just make sure that it's not being uh, bent too much when you're plugging it in, uh, because these will, if bent, will snap. Uh, so if you're putting it into a classroom, it's best to inform the students that it's there so that they can be very careful around them, just so they don't break them. Again, it's very reliable, but it's also easily snapped if it's bent on an, at an angle. So I'm going to plug that in now. Everything's powered and ready to go, so we're going to turn on the tower. And then the next step is, once we turn on the tower, we need to find out which key is like a magic key, or it al allows us to get into the USB boot. It actually uses F10 as the setup, so I'm going to push F10. Just check along the bottom of the screen, and it'll give you information about what you need to do to access the BIOS and push enter for English. Now here what we're looking for is something related to boot sequence. So if you look in storage it actually says boot order right there. So I scroll down and push enter. I'm just using the arrow keys. And then down here, sometimes what you might see is that F5 or the USB has actually been disabled. So what you would do is go in and then just click F5 to enable it so that the computer can actually boot from the USB. And I like to drag it up as high as I can. Ideally, I'll put it in the second position, and then I'll push Enter and then drag the hard drive to the first position. And then the CD-ROM drive, unless I'm trying to boot from that, I don't. I move that down and out of the way. Same with the Ethernet controller. So once I've set it up this way, then I push F10 to accept the configuration. And then you can push F10 again to save and exit the changes and then push enter and it will automatically reboot for you. At this point, then we have to look and see which of the start keys on boot up is actually related to getting or telling the computer to boot from the USB. So F10 save. And then I think with this one, it's F12. See F, no F12 is network, F9 is the boot menu. Some computers it's F12, it just depends on the configuration. So it says, please enter or press enter to select your boot device. So in this case, we want to boot from the USB device that we plugged in because that has the operating system on it that we're going to install. And it's going to run through, and you should see the cloud ready symbol within a few minutes. If you don't see it, then something possibly has gone wrong. Either the USB hasn't been configured properly, or the computer just might not want to accept the operating system, and that does happen sometimes. It doesn't take long. Once you get to this screen, then you're ready to go. So now we have to put it onto the internet. So you have to select a network from the networks that are available, sign into the network. Once you've done that, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I click continue and I'm moving on. I'm already on the internet now. I've selected my network. And now I need to sign into one of my Google accounts. So this is necessary in order for you to be able to download the Chrome operating system. So sign in using your Gmail account and then click next. And you're going to get some, sometimes I get this message where it says device is low on disk space. Don't worry about that for now. But the, the important thing is what you see on the bottom right hand corner. You want to click on the icon on the bottom right. And then that will give you the option to install Cloud Ready. Click on install Cloud Ready. You get a new screen, install Cloud Ready. Install it as a standalone, but standalone, this works great with the older devices. And then click erase hard drive and install takes about 20 minutes and you're good to go. Another feature you may see in the bottom right hand corner it says whoa there be careful don't eject your your USB but we didn't eject it so don't worry about that error uh, it doesn't really impact the imaging of the device at all.